Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habita fillah from the importance of Ahl al-ilm seeking knowledge and the people of knowledge and the adab or the manners of dealing with one another comes the hadith in Sahih Muslim which, would, which encourages us to seek knowledge and to sit with the people of knowledge and to be of those people who assist and help our brothers and sisters when they are in need. An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من نفس عن مؤمن قربة من قربة الدنيا نفس الله عنه قربة من قربة يوم القيامة ومن يسر على المعسر يسر الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله في الدنيا والآخرة والله في عون العبد ما كان العبد في عون الأخيه ومن سلك طريقا يلتلمسه فيه علما سهل الله له طريق سهل الله له به طريقا إلى الجنة وما اجتمع قوم في بيت من بيوت الله يطلون الكتاب الله ويتدارسونه فيما بينهم إلا نزلت عليهم السكينة وغشيتهم الرحمة وخفتهم الملائكة وحفتهم ملائكة وذكرهم الله في من عنده أحبت في الله إن الحديث في أبو هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever strives to remove an obstacle or a difficulty from a mu'min, from a believer then uh, from the difficulties that we find in this life then Allah will make easy for him and remove a difficulty from him on the day of judgment and whoever makes ease for the one who is having difficulty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make ease for him in the dunya and in the hereafter and whoever covers the fault of a Muslim Allah will cover his fault in this life as well as the hereafter and Allah is ever assisting the servant as long as he is giving assistance to his brother and whoever traverses the path seeking knowledge Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah and whenever a group comes together in one of the houses from the houses of Allah reading the book of Allah and studying it between them then sakina or comfort descends upon them and mercy descends upon them and the angels surround them and Allah mentions them in his company in the company of the malaika this hadith alone is enough for us to know to strive your best to remove the difficulty from your brothers and sisters in Islam and strive your utmost to seek knowledge seeking knowledge of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and to traverse that path of knowledge and sit in the circles of knowledge with the ulama and the students of knowledge, those people who are delivering that message to you based on Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who benefit and gain ilm al nafi ruskin tayyib wa amal al and be of those who teach the people and those who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned either mat al mar'i and kata amal hu illa min talath as sadaqa jariya. العلم ينتفع به وولد صالح صالحا يدعو له. May Allah bless us to be.
be from amongst them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.